In this video, I'm gonna share with you five tips to help you start a music channel here on YouTube. Welcome to the Home Studio Academy. My name is Nolan Freitas and I've been a musician now for over 17 years, but just about a year ago, I decided to become a YouTube content creator. I've learned a lot that I wanna share with you today, but first things first, this is not a how to get you know millions of subscribers or views type of video. These are just some practical tips that will help you get started. Tip number one, understand that YouTube is a search engine. What this means is that people come to YouTube for two main reasons. One, to be entertained or two, to learn a new skill set and solve a problem. So before you even start your channel, make sure to have some clarity over what is the main purpose of your YouTube channel. Are you a solo artist or in a band? Are you going to be putting out you know, original material and cover songs? Then that will fall under the entertainment category. Or will you be an educator? Are you going to be teaching people how to play an instrument, how to record, teach them about audio equipment? That will fall under the education category. And the biggest question I had when I was starting out is should I do everything in one channel or should I do separate channels with separate purposes? And so I reached out to a much more successful music producer and content creator and his advice was to do separate channels with separate purposes because if you do everything under one channel, most likely you're going to spend split and confuse your audience. What this means is that people that only care about your music, they don't care so much about you know what pedals you're using, what effects you're using to record your vocals, they just wanna listen to your music. And vice versa may also apply. People that just wanna learn how to play an instrument, they don't care about your music, they just wanna solve their problem which is learning how to play that instrument. Tip number two, acknowledge that you do not need to be an expert to start a YouTube channel. Yes, you do need to be skillful and knowledgeable about the things you're gonna be talking about, but despite popular belief, you don't need to be a Grammy Award winning artist, music producer, or audio engineer to share what you already know with the rest of the world. And just to prove my point, let's say from one to 10, you consider yourself a level five when it comes to your knowledge and skill set. Well, there's tens if not hundreds of thousands of people out there that are still level ones to level fours, and so that is the people that you need to cater to. Forget about everybody else because chances are there are other YouTubers that are already helping level fives through tens, and so you need to niche down and find your audience. Tip number three, and this is a big one, learn as much about video production as possible. Even though I consider myself very efficient when it comes to recording and mixing music, I had no clue how to start filming videos. And like many of us, I had to learn everything from scratch. Thankfully though, there are thousands of YouTube channels that cover this exact topic, but my number one go-to source ever since starting this YouTube channel has been Think Media. I highly encourage you to check them out because they're gonna show you how to get started using only your smartphone. They even have some basic video editing tutorials and no, I'm not sponsored by them. They don't even know who I am. I'm just very grateful for everything that I learned from their team and their channel. Tip number four, content is king. When starting out, do yourself and your wallet a favor and do not waste thousands of dollars on the best camera with the best lenses and the best lighting equipment if you're not providing value to your audience. Trust me, it's much better to start filming on your smartphone and then just shower people with value than wasting thousands of dollars and then just putting out horrible content. And in addition to that, even though that content is king, if people don't actually click on your videos, then you pretty much wasted the time making your videos. And how do people click on videos? Titles and thumbnails. At least for me, when I'm scrolling down on YouTube, the first thing I pay attention to is the thumbnail and then I read the video title. But unfortunately, when I started out, the biggest mistake I made was to shoot the video and then only at the end of the process would I think about my title and thumbnail and that really had a negative impact on my views. And so I encourage you to put most of your efforts in creating an awesome title and thumbnail. To create thumbnails, I use my phone app, Canva, Adobe Express, and Fonto. And to come up with video titles, I actually use a tool called vidIQ. This is a tool that you can download to your internet browser. And some of my favorite features with vidIQ is that they have daily ideas that are generated for you based on your niche. So you don't have to do a lot of research. That's gonna cut a lot of your time. And also when you go upload your video and you start writing your title, it's gonna generate some keywords to put in your title that will help you rank higher. In addition, they also let you test out your thumbnail before you release your video. And and it's gonna show you how your thumbnail stacks up to your competition, which will give you an edge overall. 
They do have a free version of this tool and I'll leave the link to it in the description below and I definitely encourage you to at least get the free version but if you want to go all in and get even better results and access more features they do have paid versions as well. And by the way if you're getting value out of this content make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. The biggest piece of advice that I wish I had listened to when I was starting my channel is to start before you're ready. I'm so guilty of procrastinating and I actually stalled for two years before even starting my channel. I kept telling myself, you know, maybe I'm not good enough. I don't have the right equipment. I don't know how to shoot video. Pretty much every excuse under the sun to the point that my wife had to pull me aside and say, hey, we're not getting any younger. You keep talking about starting this channel. If you don't do it now, you're going to regret it in the future. And so that was the last push that got me to start my channel. And when starting now, I encourage you to just learn the process. Learn how to do research, learn how to create an awesome title, how to write a script, how to shoot your videos, how to set the lighting in your room, how to edit the videos. Those are the things that you should be focusing on, not gear. You can always upgrade your gear in the future. And I promise you that by getting 1% better with every single upload, by your 50th video, your 100th video, you're gonna be light years away from where you got started. And just to prove my point, my first video on this channel was so bad that I actually took it down, but my second video, which is the home studio tour, pretty much shows you that I knew nothing about video production because the background was in focus and I was out of focus. So hopefully this will encourage you to take that leap and just get started. And with that being said, if you wanna check out my full home studio tour, then make sure to click on this video.